This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, this is your boy Black Magus and just got finished watching uh, a video of a YouTube commentator who got to go out to Destiny, go out to Destiny, go out to Bungie a little over a week ago to record some game footage of the new maps from the House of Wolf DLC. Uh, now, of course, he couldn't say anything about it until now, you know, um the what is it called non-disclosure agreement where you can't say anything until we tell you to but he posted it today and i went and checked it out um, I, one thing i do like is that bungie made sure that these guys who got flown out to do this got to post their things first i saw ign post the article on it but the videos wouldn't play on their article and i'm thinking that's because bungie's like nah y'all can't show this shit yet everybody go to these youtubers channels first we flew them out there to give them this opportunity because they've been big supporters of the game. So I thought that was really, really cool of Bungie. Nice PR move. Now, the four maps, and I'm going to have to restart this video just to know the names again. Okay, so for the first one is Black Shield, and it's a Mars map. And that one kind of reminds you of Firebase because it is actually a Firebase um, type design but it's a little more open uh there's a spot in the middle i believe that was let me go ahead and look at the map b b is like sitting outside in the middle of a circle no roof you know different entry points of course you could just jump over the top and get into it, it looks like as well because that's how the guy entered it um it's c pretty much everything it's it's more of a what if we created a fire base with out you having to really go inside a seems to be the only point that you really need to enter inside other than that everything's out in the um open uh so it seems like it's a little more accessible uh a lot less choke points maybe at first glance i don't know i mean it looks okay not necessarily too enamored with that one uh the next one they talked about was thieves den which is on um venus and it's kind of reminiscent of the uh archon priest map the look of it it looks like a similar area to the archon priest in some places um but i gotta say i kind of am really not feeling this map because as soon as I was looking at it and I'm looking at all the uh, different corners, I'm thinking, okay, this kind of reminds me of Anomaly, where you it, it has some weird entry points and exit points. To me, I, I've never been a fan of Anomaly. I, th I always thought Anomaly was crazy. And the dude actually feels like B is kind of like B on Anomaly, where you can get it from just about anywhere and it looks like you can. Um... It's like a mix of Anomaly and that other moon map. And I cannot think of the name of the moon map. That, uh... I believe it was only a 3 versus 3 map at first. But then it came over to the, um, control. But it kind of me, it reminds me of a mix of those two. Those are two maps that I'm not really fond of. So, I'm thinking Thieves' Den, I'm going to kind of throw a fit over. Widow's uh, Court, me and my homegirl agree from playing many many sessions of uncharted 3 uh co-op <clears throat> it reminds us of a map from uncharted 3 chateau it's very lush green you have these like you know stoic uh old school type housing uh all around looks like you know old european uh houses and castles and whatnot um that one looks kind of cool I, I i think i could I, I, I feel that one probably the most. Uh, it looks like it's kind of open, uh, a little bit spacious. So you're going to have to probably be careful when you're running to certain points. Um, but there's enough cover to protect you as well. It, it It's one of those 
it, it just seems like a nice, like, this is probably going to be balanced type of map from first view. So, that one I definitely do feel. And the last one that they have is, a unfortunately for Xbox owners, is a PlayStation Network exclusive or PlayStation exclusive. Because they still, I guess, are in the middle of that exclusive exclusivity um, that Sony uh, got when the game uh, first was announced. Uh, it's called The Timekeeper. And I'm going to say this. If you own an Xbox and you seem kind of upset that you're not going to get this map, I wouldn't say I would be too upset. Uh, it, it's, it's okay. Um, it's not, you know, it has a little shades of Shores of Time in its design, <clears throat> but it's not as nice as shades of Shores of Time. I actually really like Shores of Time <clears throat> a whole lot. It's one of my favorite maps so far, but it's, it, it's, 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 it's an okay map. I... It has a lot of, you know, different ways to take, routes to take. So, you do have routes where you got to kind of hunt for people. Um, the thing that bothers me the most is that A and C kind of have, like, a clear line of sight to each other. Like, you could, like, from the corner of A and from the corner of C, you could snipe at each other. So, I could see a lot of people, like, hopefully, well... Sadly, that's the start spawn points usually for Destiny maps. Um, hopefully, they'll flip it to B instead of A and C for that map. Because if I'm a team that's going to spawn on C or A, I'm pulling out a sniper. I'm edging over to the side, and I'm trying to see if I can catch somebody. Um, trying to come over that side with that sniper. So that's the thing that um, seems bothersome to me is that I don't know how smart that was to give those two points that line of sight like that. You know what I mean? It it kind it kind of doesn't make sense to me. But hey, um, it it is what it is. I guess just make sure you center yourself. I'm telling you now, when you're getting your first capture on A and C, because someone's gonna try to pick your ass off if you if you go to those edges. And then find another route to get to B or to get to A if you want to attack their spawn point. Because that shit's going to kind of uh, <laughs> kind of be hectic, in my opinion. It's going to be a clusterfuck, I think. Um, now, one bit of news that uh, this guy mentioned. His name is Dado Does Destiny, so check him out. You guys might know him if you watch Destiny. He mentioned that the Dark Below DLC uh, maps for... Um, PvP are going to be given free to everybody once House of Wolves drops. And that kind of, kind of bothers me. And it just made me realize that there's some other things about um, the way Destiny is doing the DLC now that's kind of bothersome that I might do a video on because having been that person who got that season pass for the DLC kind of sucks that it, you know I could have waited Especially if I was just a PvP person, I could have saved myself twenty bucks and just got House of Wolves for Trials of Osiris and the Prisoners of Elders, because I would pretty much get all of the maps plus the new stuff, um, just with the twenty dollars. So I, I don't know. That's just that just rubbed me the wrong way, but. If you're someone who never got the Dark Below, if you complain about not being able to play the Dark Below um, PvP maps, well, here you go. You get them. But anyway, um, that's just how I feel about the DLC. I mean, the new Crucible maps. As always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.